Hey, Eli here. Today I want to share my process that I've developed over the last 17 years on how I cull and sort my images. It's something that's uh, always been evolving. And so I just want to show you where I am now in 2023 fall, a very busy season, and how I keep up with one week turnarounds on weddings, as well as deliver a chronological order of images um, using PicTime. So we're going to go through Narrative Select, Lightroom. So basically my process is I start out in Lightroom, I go over to Narrative Select, then I go back to Lightroom, and then I export to PicTime. So let's jump in the computer here and show you where I start after a wedding day. So this particular wedding day I photographed two days ago, and me and my second shooter, uh, there were four cameras total. And so what we do at the end of the day, or I do, is we all take a photo of an app. Uh, called timestamp and you can just look in your app store and find something similar uh, there's websites that also have timestamps that are global uh, but yeah so this allows me to uh, sync all my images really quickly it's very simple it's right here and so my first part of the process is i will bring my images in to camera folders i will color code them time sync them and then i'll come up here and i'll click save metadata and what that's going to do is it's going to write all the metadata that i've changed which would be color as well as uh, the time syncing. And so after I've done that, and saved the metadata of the files, I'll come over here to Narrative Select. I'll go Create Project. I'll choose the folder that I want, which I've already done. And then I'm gonna go to the folder that I've already made. So what's gonna happen is this filter bar will be closed. You'll open it up and you'll wait for this status bar right here to finish. What that's gonna do is it's gonna kind of sort your images. It's gonna scan them all, look at all the faces and tell you what faces have eyes open or closed. So here it's not sure, but I can tell maybe he's mid blink, but now I now I know his eyes are open. So as we're going through, you'll see this one here, and it's just a very quick way of sorting any every shoot that I do. I'll use this no matter what it is. Uh, you can zoom in if you need to and just check by hitting the space bar here and then space bar to come back out. You can go by scenes uh, right here. And if you go left and right, it's going to go per scene. If you go up and down, it's going to go per image. So I'll basically go per image. I'll either go chronological or I'll go by camera. So if I'm going to go, if I'm going to go by camera, let's see, capture time. Um, yeah. So if I go by capture time here, uh, if I have multiple shooters where a photographer is taking pictures of details, while I'm taking pictures of something else, I can get really annoying. So I'll go by file name. And that's basically what I'll do. Uh, cameras all have a file name. And so those are mostly chronological. And so I'll just go through all the images and I go backwards because I generally will take my best images last and then I'll stop and move on to the next scene. And so I just go one by one. I press three stars. Three stars indicates that I'm probably gonna use it. It's a keeper. Two stars means, oop, that was a mistake. I'm not gonna use that. So three stars there. And then I'll go through all these images, all 12,000. And then I will close the software. I will come back over to Lightroom and in Lightroom, I can now go up here, select the folder, and then I will select all the images, Command A, and I'll come up here to metadata. I will read metadata from files because Narrative Select has written XMPs uh, over what we've brought over and it will put in all the star ratings. So then at that point, I'll press two stars. I will go less than or equal to and anything less than or equal to, I'll transfer over to this unused folder. At this point, I will go and I'll make all of these folders that you see here. Uh, generally before that, they're just camera labeled camera folders, four different cameras. And so with this particular wedding, they're all different. I had the property, the guys getting ready, the girls getting ready, first look photos, family photos, ceremony site, I'll show you. And then I will reorganize these. I will rename these 4.1 ceremony site and then that way they stay in an order. I just have to remember to click file name and then ceremony, all of them are here. And I will go through and I will drop all these in, these folders, tent, and then I'll organize them and then I will sort them a second time. So I'll go back through as I'm clicking through. If I think, oh, that's a duplicate image. I don't need both of these. Which one do I like more? Probably this one. And I'll press two here and I'll just leave that one in. As I go, I'll go through all these folders again. So I've got table details. Just the basics, you know, of what's on the table. Flowers, the bar, desserts, gift table, lawn, lawn area, these couches outside, a photo booth area. And that allows me to deliver the least amount of images by telling a good story uh, of their day and capturing all their details. And then reception is generally the largest. If it's really big, sometimes I'll split it up between A and B. Maybe at toast, I'll go after toast and I'll do B. Uh, this one I still have to sort down a little bit further. Hopefully I get this under 800 images. 
and total I want to see around 1500 max if possible so I'll try and do all this sorting before I go and edit and then as I'm editing my process is I make everything equal to three so while I'm editing oh, wrong one equal to three so while I'm editing if I decide I didn't want this image I press two it's gone okay bring it back if I decide I'm done editing it I press four and now I'm just looking at these images and as I go through I'm going down to zero so really easy process and some I've been doing for years and yeah it's just my <laughs> muscle memory is really quick and I can get through images really fast so I'm going to skip the editing part but today I'm just going to share a little bit I've been using imagine AI quite a bit uh, basically you upload your catalog to imagine AI and then it adjust the catalog, edits your images. It's just a little bit of a, a process. So I've started using develop, D-V-L-P. I think that's right. <laughs> uh, imagine, or impossible things. And so if you just look up develop impossible things, you'll see they make presets, but now they're doing editing, but it's in app. So in Lightroom, you'll just go select your image or images, come up here, file. You, it's really quick. You go plug in extras and then you edit photos. You can use your presets or you can use their presets. They've got some really nice presets, but I've created a custom one myself, and then I'll just upload it. It'll get white balance exposure. Those are the main things, as well as some other fine tuning, um, as well as some AI retouching stuff. So it's been really helpful, a lot quicker process than um, Imagine AI. Not as advanced yet, I think it'll get there, but check it out, pretty cool. So let's say I've edited all my images, I'm done. I'm gonna go export them. I will save the metadata, just so I have a backup of XMPs so that I don't have to have the catalog when I'm done. And then I will export these in whatever JPEG format you want. And then once I'm done with that, I will upload them to PickTime and then I'll break them down into tabs. So I wanna show you what that looks like if you don't use PickTime. Uh, I'm sure other softwares will do this, but I'm not positive. This is one reason I did pick PickTime a while back. Uh, but yeah, so I've got the getting ready photos. I've got portraits. This was a multi-day um, session ceremony. Uh, the ceremony site was pretty elaborate, so there's just lots of details of the ceremony and reception site in one because they were right next to each other. And so then we've got reception, and then we have a portrait night. We went out for portraits to a little mosque down on the Bosphorus in Istanbul, and then they had a henna night. And so this was thousands of images, so I just wanted to break them all down so that they could quickly navigate to whatever they're looking for, but all be in the same gallery. Here's one at a Brasada Ranch. We've got details, just kind of the venue itself. And then we're gonna get into portraits. So they did portraits first, and then went to their ceremony, and then cocktail hour, reception, and then yeah, slideshow images is different. But yeah, so this one here, another unique one, they're all gonna be different. These two got ready. I've got some preview images at the beginning, and then there's the cabin they got ready at, and then the camp that they rented out, campsites, and how they set all that up with the ceremony site, all the details here. And then from that into portraits, and then ceremony site, and then dinner. And so this just allows me to break everything down for my clients, another multi-day wedding where we've got hiking, uh, Friday night uh, rehearsal, dinner, it was pretty elaborate, it was really nice. Went on a hike in the morning of the wedding day, and then getting ready on the wedding day, portraits, family and friends, ceremony, reception, and then the following day right here. And then hidden photos are just photos that only I see this tab, that's photos that they decided they didn't want in their gallery or for everyone to see. So, uh, but yeah, so anyway, um, I think it's a pretty cool process. Um, it's worked great for me, you know, I don't know, but yeah, let me know if you know a better way. Uh, I'd love to learn from anyone who's quicker at this. I'm able to turn around my images in a day or two with these and then deliver them on Friday or on their one day or one week anniversary day, uh, which is really great. Um, I don't think that I need to deliver images that fast, but I know that I've got more shoots. I'm shooting a wedding a weekend, if not more. And so if I don't keep up on my work, I'll fall behind and then I just, yeah, don't feel good. <laughs> I want to clear my cards and I want to move on to the next shoot. So um, yeah, I'm a very task oriented person myself and I don't like wasting time. Um, maybe I'll do an editing video as well, just to show you how I edit fast um, using, you know, the softwares that do edit, you know, like develop, but then also not using that. Um, I can still edit a wedding really fast with the presets that I've created and then the process that I've created. So just being very quick and just sitting down and doing it. Uh, so yeah, if that's helpful, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.